Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give our glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And salutations to you brothers out there doing this work in sincerity and in truth. This is the brother Bob Rob from GMS Chicago, back with another uh, lesson. And this is basically going to deal with uh, when the so-called uh, hamster wheel stop, man. When business as usual stops, all right? When people get out of this daily routine, uh, <clears throat> when all the things that they used to doing on a day-to-day -day basis stop, they're going to uh, recognize, I mean, in the general public, they're going to recognize that uh, <laughs> they're going to be in a bad case, all right? Now, the spirit is heavy and hot on this coronavirus, and uh, a lot of brothers have been going into it. I've done some videos on it, but... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, here in the U.S., uh, it's a it's a possibility, a close possibility that that quarantine is coming, man. All right, that quarantine is coming, and when that comes, you're gonna have a lot of effects, man. A lot of effects that's gonna uh, trickle throughout all society, right? It's gonna be a domino effect, a snowball effect. You see what's going on over. In, uh, in China, Italy, Iran, so on and so forth, South Korea, uh, with the coronavirus, right? Now, the things and uh, that's happening over there, the quarantines, the people staying off the street, the businesses uh, uh, being shut down, is going to have a major effect throughout the entire world, and especially here in, in the United States, because this is a consumer uh, economy, and we import a lot of goods, all right we import a lot of goods so what i'm saying is that uh prices gonna prices are gonna rise because goods aren't coming in uh shelves are gonna go empty because things are not being replenished so there's a lot of things coming down the pike uh that people uh, is gonna have to face this sobering uh reality man that the party is coming to an end <laughs> Call William Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai about that. The party is coming to an end, right? So I just want to touch on some scriptures to let you know that, uh, brothers, uh, first and foremost, be spiritually prepared, all right, mentally about what's coming. Uh, the day will come where, uh, you know, you get up and you work your job, you come home, uh, you upload videos, you do this, you do that. All these things might uh, change, all right, in the instance, all right? It could get real, real rough out here. So I want brothers to, to mentally prepare themselves spiritually. You should always be praying, all right, focusing in on, on the word, the prophecies, uh, what's coming uh, next, hoping that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai covers you. All right, so on and so forth. But if you have the ability, now I'm a, I'm gonna throw in my, throw in my spiritual two cents, um, prepping. All right, which let me put it, let me put this out here first and foremost, prepping is not gonna save you. All right, <laughs> prepping is not gonna deliver you, and you're not gonna get salvation through prepping. All right, and 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 the man or the people that's listening to this video, you should know that first and foremost. But if you have the ability to have extra goods, all right, in your house do that do so because you never know you might be able to help another brother by doing so you have to be prudent and use wisdom in these times man when you uh read through the scriptures and read about our forefathers man these were men of wisdom men that were prudent man that the spirit was dealing with all right so no prepping is not going to deliver you uh give you salvation but depending on how far uh, Esau Edom takes this this uh, crisis with the coronavirus, uh, whether it's uh, a couple months or a year or so on, or this could be the final nail in the coffin, and, and, and all bets are off, because you know it all it all depends, it all varies, because we still have other prophecies to uh, fulfill. Uh, it's not going to hurt to have a, a little extra, man. That's it, you know. You don't have to go overboard with it, but if you have the means, uh, speaking prudently, I would say uh, do so, man. But 
uh, to back that up, let me go into a story uh, in the book of Genesis, right? This is uh, the book of Genesis, chapter 41, verse 29. It says, Behold, there come seven years of great plenty throughout all the land of Egypt, and there shall arise after them seven years of famine, and all the plenty shall be forgotten in the land of Egypt, and the famine shall consume the land. Right? So here in America, uh, people can't fathom seeing uh, the supply chains break down, seeing empty uh, shelves in the supermarket, can't uh, fathom not having their uh, usual 9 to 5, or they, they're used to a certain level of living, accustomed to a certain level of living, right? But we who have that spiritual foresight, being a uh, hopeful uh, man of the Lord, we see things coming, man. We have that foresight. So, like I said, first and foremost, you should be pre uh, preparing spiritually. And if you do have uh, the means, all right, to grab uh, this or grab that, it don't even have to be for yourself. It could be for uh, a family that you got at the house, all right? You never know if you're going to be able to use it or not. But if you if you have, uh, like I said, the means, uh, be prudent, prudent, and prudent about these things. It says... Uh, Verse 31, and, and plenty shall uh, not be known in the land by reason of that famine following for it shall be very grievous. And for uh, that the dream was doubled unto Pharaoh twice. It, it is because the thing is established by the power and the power will shortly bring it to pass. Now, therefore, let Pharaoh look out a man discreet and wise and set him over the land of Egypt. Let Pharaoh do this and let him appoint officers over the land and take up the fifth part of the land of Egypt in the seven plenty of years. And let them gather all the food of those good years that come and lay up uh, corn under the hand of Pharaoh and let them keep food in the cities. And that food shall be for store to the land against the seven years of famine. So even in this story, right, <clears throat> uh, Joseph uh, broke down the uh, dream. Uh, so on and so forth, and through the spirit and glory of the Jehovah Shai, he was a able to direct uh, Pharaoh what he needed to do, right? So, like I said, man, it's gonna come a time. And my brothers was talking about this earlier today, man. When uh, internet, uh, phone service, hell, you're not gonna be able to Google everything. So start training your mind now, or getting in that spirit now, of of being able to uh, go out here and 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 be and survive, man. First and foremost, it's going to be through the uh, uh, the mercy of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai if we make it. But to put your mind, uh, put your uh, mind set in that frame, all right, of what's coming, man, and being able to make it through that. Uh, verse thirty-seven. And the thing was good in the eyes of the Pharaoh and the eyes of all his servants. And Pharaoh said unto his servants, Can we uh, find such a, a one as this man? At Slakia, find such uh, a one as this is a man in whom the spirit of power is, right? <clears throat> so uh, that, that's the point, man. The, the Lord gave us uh, this wisdom to be prudent with, man. A lot of brothers like to fly by the seat, seat of their pants, but if you how about you, how should I give you the foresight to maybe uh, avoid certain situations? Why tempt you to power? All right, I'm going I'm to get that. I don't want to make this too long, but I just want brothers to uh, realize, man, when this, uh, this hamster wheel stops, when business as usual stops, man, uh, <clears throat> you got to have that spiritual uh, mindset, okay, in all aspects. Let's get, uh, let's get this right here. Proverbs 22 and 3 it says a prudent man foreseeth the evil and height of himself but the simple pass on and are punished right so like I said first and foremost you're preparing yourself uh, spiritually because I got another scripture I'm going to just quote it wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times man knowing uh, what and what to expect and what to do man knowing that this is the Lord's will alright and to prepare first yourself mentally and if you have uh, 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 let's say the ability secondly to prepare yourself in other ways all right like I said that's just being smart that's being prudent that's not going out here uh, 
teaching them, preaching that, oh, you're going to get saved by doing those things. But those things can come in use in the times that are coming. If you can, if you understand me out there. Uh, let's keep going. Let's let's get this right here. This is the book of Matthew. Uh, Matthew, Matthew the fourth chapter. And let's go to let's start at four. It says, and this is uh, when uh, when Satan came to the Lord. It says, uh, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not. Uh, Salak, let me start up. Verse three in the end. When the tempter came to him, he said, if thou be the son of the power, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the power. Right. So we recognize, we understand the words and the prophecies uh, that are happening. We understand that the Lord is manifesting these things. He's speeding the time up. He is controlling this. All right. The plagues, the famines, the death, all these things are going to happen on the planet Earth. So we being a uh, hopeful man of the Lord, we have to act accordingly. Right. Verse five. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and set of him on a pin pinnacle of the temple and saith unto him, if thou be the son of the power, cast thyself down for is written. He shall give his angels charge concerning thee and in their hands they shall bear thee up. Lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Yahweh Shai said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. Right. You don't want to tempt, uh, tempt the Lord. All right. You don't want to tempt him. Of course, we have faith that the Lord is going to bring us through and deliver us. But the Lord also gives us, like I, uh, I spoke about earlier, foresight, man. To get our mind ready. To prepare in our ways uh, to battle through different things and conditions. To get our health ready. All right. To work on our uh, immune system. Right. To do all these things, man. To get ready for what he's truly about to bring on this earth. All right. And it, it, at the end of the day, we all understand that by the mercy of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, uh, it's up to him if we make it. But because he gave us the foresight, just like the, he broke down that dream to Joseph that I just read in Genesis, uh, he made moves accordingly. All right. That's all I'm saying here. But I'm going to cut it short. And with that, I want to give all glory, praise and honors to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because, uh, <laughs> hey, this thing can happen fast, man. Right. This thing can snow snowball fast. Right. So don't really uh, <laughs> take heed, brothers. Gird up thy loins. That's what I'm saying. Because this is a serious, this could be a very serious uh, a moment that's, that's, that's facing, uh, uh, facing the world, if you understand. The disruptions in, uh, in everyday life is getting ready to happen in a major way. All right? Which can bring other things. So just get yourself uh, mentally, first and for foremost, prepared spiritually. Uh, like I said, once again, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and shalom on the next time.